Alright, welcome back. I've uncovered pretty much every secret that I could. I know I've missed some, but regardless, I don't care. I'm gonna go deal with uh, Aunt Hannah's. I've completed pretty much all the quests in the game, except one turning in the tattoos. I could kill him, or I could spare him. Nah, I'll spare him. Though there would be a scroll I would gain. And actually, speaking about scrolls... Uh, I've gained a lot of them. But not all of them. Which is a bloody pity, but... Whatever. So anyway, the judge... Well, the challenge here... Hold on. The challenge here is to not let him kill any of his infested. Yeah, I don't know what, exactly what that means. I just read what the challenge is on the wiki. Let us begin! What in the fuck is that? Alright. Ah, fuck then. I hate that attack. Well, phase two soon. Whoa. Well, that's a bit tricky.
Oh fuck, that's not gonna work, is it? Eh, screw it, I don't care anyway. Let's just end this. How the fuck would you ever achieve that? Well, otherwise, you know, it's a pretty... Why is it that... Fuck, man. Oh, 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 oh. Harkin did use Adir's rune, but not as the god asked. He used it as his shield, not his weapon. Adir could not regain his former power. The world of man remained free. The power of magic helped Harkin defeat all manner of Rogar lords on his way to face Adir. Despite the markings on his face, he proved himself to be a compassionate man who showed mercy to the just and unjust alike. Once he realized there was incredible knowledge gathered in the planetarium, Harkin became eager to learn the secrets of this world.
He chose not to interfere with the plans of others and turned a blind eye to Antanas' dark experiments. Because of Harkin's ruthlessness, Yetka faced a bleak future alone, her only chance to reunite with her family gone. The crafter's crystal was returned to him. He went back to his dimensional travels and studying runes. Harkin changed the fate of humanity by leaving them without a ruling power. Historians of the future will forever wonder what could have been if Harkin's choices had been different. Well, it's a nice little game, perhaps too expensive considering the content that it has, but um, overall I liked it, but I can't say it's a good game or a great game because of all the issues that it has. Also, what the hell is up with that idea that I use so much magic? Sure, I use magic, but uh, I also use a lot of melee weapons. Anyway, that's, uh, that's it. Will I play no game plus? I don't know. Uh, once the game gets a few patches, once the frame rate is stabilized and the game is not crashing as much as it does, yes, I will probably play it. Until then, I'll continue with my other walkthroughs, Civilization Beyond Earth and XCOM Enemy Within. So stay tuned for those and Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, it's coming out in a few days and I'm actually eager to cover that. Kev Kevin Spacey, what can I say? Alright, Cosine here, signing out. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video.